Hello, my name is Ted Buckley. I'm uh, featuring my second plane. I have four total. Um, I like to play with toys, I guess. Uh, I do boats. I actually raced boats since 1982. I kind of dropped out a little bit and I started back up again because my son wanted to race and I'm sure I'm going to be showing the other two planes in later videos. Also, maybe a couple of my boats. Anyways, um, this is a plane I just picked up in the fall. It's uh, it's called the FU F4U Stuka, made by Durofly. Um, features 43.3 inch wingspan and get about uh, six to seven minutes flight time out of it with the 2200 milliamp 11.1 volt battery 30 C's more like six minutes um, the prop I have on there today is a 9 by 9.5 by 7.5 two blade and I guess it seems like it's kind of big for the plane and the reason being is that when I bought the plane from Durafly the, the motor was defective and I, I've since sent that back and I've been waiting for like almost three months now and it wasn't a very good motor I mean it, it probably would get the plane flying at a decent speed but since the plane been sitting there and I, I wanted to fly it. Actually I haven't flown it yet but I put a different motor in there and it's uh, the motor is comparable to a Power 10. It's actually a G10 motor. It's 1200 kV BL Outrunner. Um, so it's actually equivalent to a Power 10. Um, Another thing I don't like about this plane, even though I haven't flown it yet, I, I, I believe it's a very good plane to fly, but it seems like it's very fragile with all the plastic parts. It seems like uh, I'd be better off flying without them. I don't know how well it would uh, do in a bad crash or whatever, you'd be play, replacing a lot of plastic on here, but um, it does come with uh, the lights, the, the starboard and port lights, and the, uh, the front uh, landing light. Going over here to the uh, tail section, it, that's another thing, it just doesn't, it, the plane is, looks like it's a good flying plane, but it wouldn't be going to have a hard landing. I don't know how much stuff is going to hold up on there. But another thing too with the 43.3 uh, inch wingspan, it seems like it has a lot of good stability, but. The, the fuselage is actually quite narrow, so I'm going to take off the, uh, the cover and you see the guys in there. You'll see there's not a lot of room in there. There's a lot of, a lot of wires coming off the receiver and stuff. It does have a little cubby hole here for, uh, to fit the 2200 milliamp battery. Or I think actually a larger battery if you want to, but I don't know how much you want to go with such a, a smaller plane. It is kind of considerably narrower than my other planes, but yeah, we'll see. Like, I haven't flown it yet, and I'd like to get it out. Um, let's just take one quick look at the bottom of the plane and kind of get an idea of plastics involved here. I did
do a little painting, stuff like that. So, yeah, the landing gear does seem pretty stable, even though, you know, it's another plastic part. Um, it's got you know, more plastic than actually wire rods like the typical landing gear I'm used to. So anyways, that's uh, plane number two. Um, I do have two other planes. I have a F4U uh, Corsair and a T28 Trojan that I'll be putting on a video a little later. Um, also, I have uh, two boats. I, I have a Sport 20 Hydro. I used to have other Hydros that I've been getting rid of. Kind of going to get out of the hobby of boating just because it's kind of a hassle and I have to drive quite a distance. Even though it's competitive and I go out of state and race against the big guys, it's just kind of takes a lot of time and money and stuff and I kind of enjoy the airplanes do you know I could put my planes in the vehicle and I'm up there flying 10 minutes I'm having fun I'm not uh, having a bad time so anyways well thank you for watching uh, until the next video